Hey everybody, it's another episode of AJ Opens Boxes, or AJ That's Me Opens Up Boxes, like uh, one I got right here. Um, this one's from Amazon, so I think I, I think I know what it is. Uh, it's a certain subscription box I get, so uh, let's open it up and uh, see what it is. I believe it's in conjunction with a certain Marvel movie that has come out not too recently. Sort of recently. I mean, that, that came out recently, I guess. But anyway, it's been out about a month and I haven't seen it yet. It's, it is, and we'll see here in a second. It is surprisingly difficult to get out of the box. There we go. Spider-Man! Far From Home. Uh, I have not yet seen the movie because I am lame and don't get out of the house as much as I'd like to. Um, probably because I'm making silly videos at home. Or not. Whatever. Doesn't matter. So, uh, well, there's no tape on it, so I don't need a good thing to put my knife away. So let's, uh, let's check it out, shall we? I kind of like that it. it's got the old classic just Spidey symbol so that's cool as far as the box alrighty okay I can see the pops in there but we're gonna look at the uh, right here hey a little bag this is different you know I, I like when they do difference in the as much as I like the t-shirts and they're cool I got enough t-shirts so I like when they do something different so they did a, a bag from the uh, Midtown School of Science and Technology that's where the uh, I, I believe where Peter Parker and Ned and all that go I'm assuming and MJ and all the other students that are and there, even Flash apparently go there. So that's kind of neat. It's a bag. You use it to put stuff in. That's cool. Uh, da, 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 da. There's the thing that tells me everything that's in it. Okay, then we got a decal that I'll keep and never put on anything because just... I mean, not that it's not a cool decal. It's cool. I mean, it looks like a symbol, and it is his symbol. But yeah, it's a, it's a neat decal. I just don't use decals ever. I just I have yet to use decals in my life. There we go. There's that. All right. And this is a kind of a neat thing. Um, neat in the sense that I would have thought this was cool years ago when I was in college. Um, you thought it's a movie about high school kids. Uh, it's a hacky sack, it's a spidey hacky sack. So you can like ha have a hacky sack circle and be really cool back years ago when I was in school. Um, so, but I, that's kind of neat, you know, it's fun. Maybe if you get two more, you can juggle. Well, I guess you can juggle just one, but it's not as impressive. Uh, but. Um, they did the Spidey Hacky Sack. That's kind of, that is kind of neat. So it's kind of a neat little thing. You can play with it or whatever. Alrighty, now for the pops. And I think, well, I'm not sure if I should do it in numerical order or the order I think that they're neat. I'm going to do the order by which I'm holding one right now. First one is Spider-Man Borrow Jersey. Again, I'm assuming this probably has something to do with the movie. And I haven't seen it yet, so whatever. This is number 485, Spider-Man Far From Home Marvel Pop. Um, yeah, it looks like he's just like wearing a t-shirt and pants. But they look like, I don't know. So, I, I again, I didn't see the movie, so I'm assuming that, assuming there's a scene where he's wearing this, or they're just like, well, let's just have Peter Parker wearing a random whatever. And they called him Spider-Man because, like, you think that'd be Peter, they call Peter Parker. I mean, obviously, Peter Parker is Spider-Man. I'm not saying he's not, I'm just... Whatever, so there's that. We're going to look at that. We're going to open that up in a second. Uh, they went with two pops this time. Sometimes they do one pop and something else, but they went two pops this time. And this is number 473, Mysterio, but he lights up. Now, not now. this is not a glow-in-the-dark. This is a light-up. So there's even like a little hole in the uh, the box there, so you can... Let's put my finger. That's uh, Apparently, I'm assuming that's... If I can... Well, there you go. See, so it literally lights up. Oh. And he stays lit up for, I'm assuming, for a certain period of time, but yeah, there you go. So there you go, lights up. Uh, that is actually kind of neat. I really think that's cool. Um, yeah, that's actually a really neat pop. That's, that's I, There's not too many light up ones. I can't even think of another light up one other than this one. I mean, I'm sure there are, or maybe there's not. Who's to say? But uh, hey, it's Age Opens Boxes, so let's, uh, let's open boxes. All righty. Alrighty, so we've got Spider-Man Borrow Jersey standard pop there. Um, I did the other that other pops, Spider-Man Far From Home pops about were all the, the human character, what I call the, the non superheroed up or super villain up characters, uh, Happy Happy and MJ. So this will go well with with those characters. Um, yeah, it's apparently just Peter Parker wearing a jersey, and he looks like he's got. I know in the from the other pops and whatever, it looks like he's got like. Those, whatever, the Spider-Man stealth suit, uh, whatever you call it, yeah, stealth suit uh, pants on, possibly. 
Um, so maybe it's like he had to stop being Spider-Man and wear a shirt so he could blend in because the stealth suit isn't very stealthy if you're not if you're wearing it and people see it. I guess I don't know. Again, haven't seen the movie, so I'm assuming that. But so there you go. That's kind of neat. Um, it's kind of fun. I, I like like human characters usually. So I, I go back and forth actually. Yeah, there's sometimes like the special like the harder to get character would be like the unmasked version, and I'm like, well, well the whole point of being a superhero is that they got a cool mask on. Well, not the whole point, but so I'm I'm kind of sometimes on the fence about that, but I don't know. It's fun, I guess. Sure, we'll go with that. And now stay now for this sucker so this is the Mysterio well there's several Mysterio you got your regular Mysterio you got your glow-in-the-dark Mysterio but I think the light up Mysterio and it's got its built-in base obviously because well not obviously but that's where the batteries are so um, and obviously it came with batteries because it already lights up so it's kind of cool actually honestly it looked cooler in the in the box no I mean not that it doesn't look cool but I think just the box reflected it and now it's in a big lit up room so it's not as cool but it is cool I like the uh, the big you know he's got the big fishbowl helmet and you know the cool crazy um, detailed uh, oh these even kind of cool details on the on the uh, I can't think of the word cape cape that he's got on so that's kind of neat and he's got his big you know triangle things of of triangleness which I'm sure uh, you know this Gyllenhaal triangles. We're gonna call them Gyllenhaal triangles. But I don't know. I think that that is really neat. That actually is that is a very unique uh, thing that they have um, for him. So I mean, the, the the villains, at least villain pops, have been really neat. I don't usually get villain pops, but because uh, I don't like villains. Uh, but uh, yeah, so that's actually really cool. I really do like that. Um, and that is a really neat um, pop that they have. So so you get the two pops, you get the decal, you get the backpack and the hacky sack. You're ready for school. Or, well, actually, you're not. You, you need more than that to go to school. And this backpack would not carry, like, a lot of heavy books. I mean, I remember just carrying just tons of heavy books back in the day. So I would, I mean, you can carry, carry your hacky sack in there. Whatever. So, I don't know, overall, neat box. Um, I, I, I kind of get, get spidered out. I'm, I mean, as a big of a Marvel guy I am, I'm not a huge Spider-Man fan. That means it doesn't mean I'm not a fan of him. I've got plenty of Spider-Man pops, but um, I don't get as excited about Spider-Man as a lot of other people do. And I think people are surprised I'm not as excited about him as other. I don't know why I'm talking about that, but uh, but overall, really cool. I really think the Mysterio uh, glow in the or not glow in the dark. The light up thing is kind of a neat thing. That's kind of neat. Um, the backpack and. Uh, they're really stretching, calling this a backpack, but the but the bag and, and the hacky sack are kind of neat. That's neat and different. I do like when they do neat and different things. I mean, sometimes boxes kind of get into a rut, and this is definitely not in that. So I dig it. Uh, another one for you, uh, Funko and Marvel, and I guess Amazon too, because that's where you get it from. So another uh, collect. Did I say it was a collector core box at the beginning? Well, yeah, it's a collector core box, the Marvel collector core. I've been a a subscriber since the very beginning. I guess I guess that's cool. Um, so I'm very happy about that, and um, I hope you are too. But if you are happy, and uh, I appreciate you watching, why don't you click like and subscribe below, and hey, even share it if uh, if you ever feel so inclined. Um, if you get want to get more of my silliness or whatever, you can always check me out on Twitter at a underscore j underscore roberts sorry that was the only thing that was available at the time and of course you can always catch me on instagram at uh, the ages show tv careful there's a lot of pictures of wieners on my instagram so i like to give people a heads up on that uh, well again thanks for watching another wonderful and exciting episode of aj opens boxes show where aj opens up boxes that are usually funko but not always um hopefully you enjoyed it and if you didn't thanks for sticking with it to this point i mean been at least uh, 10 minutes or so geez uh, but again click like and subscribe and uh until next time hey keep boxing it up